Welcome to quick tips number two. We're going to use um, pan and zoom uh, to make your slideshows look a bit more lively than just showing the simple image from one to the next. I think we'll also add some um, royalty free music from a site that I like, which is also easy to do. So first of all, let's uh, actually let's go to the site where I where I find the music that I use. It's 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 called Purple Planet Music, and the the address is purple-planet.com. And there's quite a lot of interesting music on here. And uh, today I'm just going to use some. Uh, images of my kitten so I'm going to want some cute music for that so if we go to cute and on the on the selection so you can uh, listen to the actual music before you download it it's quite loud uh, we're good That one sounds quite all right. So if you just select the download on this music. Oh, let's go to show in folder. Winter Wonder. Let's just cut that. And chuck it into my video projects. Let me just chuck that. Chuck that in there for the moment. Winter Wonder. Right. So let's go back to our video, add file, first of all add a cute little kitten, four of those, now you want to add that uh, soundtrack that we just downloaded, where did I put it, in there, went no wonder. Right, here's our soundtrack, so let's chuck that down there to start with. So that will give you, a, 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 to start with, an idea of the length of the video. I mean, you can just like copy and paste this or add other soundtracks to extend the video or extend your slideshow. So let's go to images and just drop in our four images to start with. Let's say I let's say I just want that as the length of my uh, video production. So I need to cut my audio down to the to the length of the video production. So let's put the, the, the cursor over the end of end of my images. Highlight the audio and then click on split which will split my audio now I can highlight the, the audio that I don't want and press the delete key on the keyboard to remove that and rather than have your audio just cut straight off like this what we want to do is if I want to fade out on that so if we go to um, uh, well if you highlight the audio and then you go up to audio effects at the top there and then fade out, select fade out. Uh, one second, we give, we'll give it a couple of seconds to fade out. So click OK on that. And now your video will fade out, the audio will fade out. So it sounds much better than just cutting straight off. Anyway, back to our, our slideshow production. And what we want to do is one rather than I mean if you look at the the, the, the video at the moment it'll just it, it just jump from one image to the next and there's no movement really in, in those let me just turn the volume down on the audio right down to say free so if I play it you can still hear what I'm saying 
Yeah, so it's right in the background now. <clears throat> so first thing really on the on the image, you know, you, you look at the image and you and you you want to select a part of the image which is more interesting than the rest. So we go to effects just to bring up the, the the effects box. Click on plus, and then pan and zoom. Select the pan and zoom. Now on on pan and zoom you have a start, um, which is this area here. So that's the start of your 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 pan and zoom. And if we're going to slowly zoom in to the to the cat for example you just want to leave that where it is and then select end so it'll be like the ending part of of your your panning and zooming and we select one of the one of the little widgets there and put the cat into the center of the of the image and just close up a little bit so now we're we're going to slowly zoom into the face of the cat there so if we close that, and then we go, you can see on the storyline on the video now, we'll zoom into the cat's face, and the same on the next one. If we go to the to the to the next image, go to effects, add effects, pan and zoom. Right, I want to start already starting there. This is this is. If we wanted to um, pan away from the cat, for example, if we on on the start, if you if you zoom into the cat's face on the start, so we've got we've got a close up to start with, and on, on the end, it, it's it selected at the end there, yeah, so that should be alright. Now if we close that, on this 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 cat, for example, we'll be panning away from her. Now on the next one, we want to pan into her because she's quite far away. So we select effects, add effects, pan and zoom, the start, which is all right. It's already far away. Ending, we want to end up, end up with a closer image of the cat. So we want to select that area. I mean, you can, you can, you can go right up close if you wanted to but the chances of um, it blurring uh, you know there's more chance of it blurring if you're going too close so we'll leave you just let that one go there and the next one where I think we'll zoom in on her sitting in the wheelbarrow as well so we want to effects on that one Pan and zoom, start far out, end. We want to go into a. So now, if we play the video. It's more lively now rather than just going from one image to the next. And of course, you can um, uh, speed up and slow down the pan in the zoo, and just by by extending the, extending the image, or you know, lengthening the images, or, or shortening the images, will define how quick or or how slow your pan and zoom works. Now we want to basically add some crossfades to these images to to give it a better uh, effect. Either crossfade or one that I personally like is shatter so we can and have another crossfade there and there's loads of um, different effects that you can use to, to liven your video up and let's have a look what it looks like now bring your videos to life and there it is easy to do 
I hope that was helpful for those that you do who, who haven't done that before or learning video pad. It's quite simple, it's a nice easy um, program to use. Don't forget if you want to um, use the purple uh, music, royalty free music, don't forget to add their information in your um, uh, description of your video when you do it to give them a little bit of exposure. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. More to follow.